Hello, my friend Terry Petrovic here. Uh, I want to share something with you today, uh, and I want you never, <laughs> and I do mean never, to make this mistake. Uh, recently, I did a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the purpose of the one-on-one -on -one was not to talk about the business. The purpose of the one-on-one -on -one was to kind of get to know the other person. Now, it just so happens, uh, I've seen this person at a networking group. I know she's in a network marketing company. I saw her um, last week and I said, hey, I'd love to get together with you, get to know you a little bit better. So we set an appointment, <clears throat> we met. Well, uh, I'm sitting at Starbucks working on my computer. She comes in the door with a friend, <laughs> a gentleman, and um, they proceed to sit down with me and right away I'm surprised and it's like, well, who's this guy? And she says, he's my business partner. And I said, husband? No, business partner. I said, okay. Uh, so then she goes on and starts telling me all about her network marketing company. And I go, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I'm not interested in your company. I'm not interested in your company's products. The reason I wanted to get together with you was to kind of get to know you. And she looks at me and says, I don't understand. How are you going to get to know me if you don't know my company? <laughs> and I said, okay, give me a 60 second commercial on your business. And I knew of her business. I know the product and the business model and everything, but I let her talk. And then she goes on and starts telling me <laughs> uh, everything I ever wanted to know. And then some doing the proverbial data dump, if you will. Uh, on a prospect and I wasn't even a prospect so she went way beyond what I had any interest in and the gentleman you know pipes in a little bit and I said well are you her upline you know why are you here and she hits him on the on the leg and I saw that <laughs> I said well tell me a little bit about you and what you've been doing in the business and you know how successful you are and tried to figure out, you know, where her challenges were and how I could maybe help her. And I got to tell you, in the 17 years of me being in this profession, it was one of the most awkward presentations and get togethers I've ever experienced. Because when I made it very clear, I didn't want to hear about her business. It was pretty much shut down time and interesting. There was not a lot of questions about me, my background, my personal situation, my company, or any of that kind of stuff. So it was one of those conversations that is very one-sided, if you will. So I'm not going to focus on that. What I want to focus in this video is when you sit down with somebody uh, for a one-on-one -on -one where the purpose is to kind of get to know the person, your goal is to get to know the person. <laughs> You're actually best if you don't talk about the business at all because you want to see if there is some chemistry there. Uh, so what kind of questions do you ask? You know, what got you started in the industry? You know, is this your first company? Are you full-time? Are you part-time? Uh, tell me a little bit about um, what you want to accomplish. Are you marketing online or offline? all questions where you're trying to figure out where somebody is at and maybe if you can help them in some way. And this woman's response actually was, if you want to help me, you need to learn about my business. <laughs> well, I then asked her, I said, you know, tell me who is your ideal prospect? And the question I have for you is who is your ideal prospect? Do you know who you're looking for? Do you know who you're not looking for? I know who I'm not looking for. <laughs> You know, the, the outcome of uh, a one-on-one -on -one presentation like that is to really get an understanding of who that person is and how you can help them grow their business. Because odds are, whether you do business with them or not, it's irrelevant, but I believe in uh, the law of reciprocity, meaning if you give enough good stuff away, enough good stuff is going to come back to you. So you can... There's a, there's a formula, maybe you've heard about it. 
Uh, it's called form, uh, F-O-R-M. It's family, occupation, recreation, and mission, what they're about. Some people say the M is money, what they're about. So get them to talk about their family. Get them to talk about what they did before uh, they got involved with the business. Uh, get them to talk about what they like to do for having fun. And get them to talk about their mission or what gets them excited. So again, uh, hopefully you will never experience what I experienced recently with that conversation. <laughs> As I was driving home, I called my wife and I said, <laughs> I've absolutely just finished the worst one-on-one -on -one presentation and, and get together that I've ever done, just trying to get to know somebody. Uh, it was kind of comical, it was sad, but kind of comical. And what I want for you, my friend, is to be attractive as a leader uh, as a coach, as a mentor, as a friend, you know, don't be pitching your product, uh, whether you're meeting somebody in a coffin shop or on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, don't be pitching all the time. So many people just turn so many people off online and offline because they pitch people on their product and their opportunity. And what I want for you is I want you to come from a position of strength, a position of success, because when you do those things, the right people are going to show up and they're going to want to align with you because they see you as a strong leader. I hope that makes sense to you. My name is Terry Petrovic. Do me a favor. Leave me your comments below. Uh, let me know if you've ever experienced uh, a good conversation one-on-one -on -one or a horrible conversation one-on-one. -on -one. Tell everybody what you learned from those experiences. You remember this, you got a choice. Make it a better than terrific day and a prosperous one because you absolutely deserve it. Take care.